Hi everybody, I'd like to do a review on the 2000 Red Sox yearbook, which is the yearbook I got a few months ago off of MLB.com, and as you can tell by the, the appearance of it, it's really small and thin, and it's actually the smallest yearbook I have, along with the 2001 and Red Sox yearbook, and it's the thinnest too. And on the cover shows no Mark Garcia Parra and Pedro Martinez, who are considered one of the greatest players of all time. And they're actually both on a couple of these covers, which I'll which you'll see in the next couple of reviews. And um, this is one of the few yearbooks that have this um, flap right here where you can open it up and reveal something. It's got kids jumping in a sandbag. And then this is a description, which is about. Um, the 1999 season as well as the 1975 World Series, which you can pause to read it just because I'm not, I'm not going to read through it just because I want to get through the review, of course. But I just thought I'd show it. And that right there is Carlton Fisk, which he hit a walk-off homer in the Game 6 of the 1975 World Series in the 12th inning. And his number 27 is retired. That's the schedule of the 2000 season, which um, every... Every one of these Red Sox yearbooks I have have this. And then this is Jimmy Williams. He was our manager up until 2001. I believe he, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he was our manager from 1995 to 2001 or, or 97. I'm not sure. But, um... He led the Red Sox to win a wild card, a wild card in 1998 and 1999. And then he was fired during the 2001 season due to the Red Sox getting injuries and the Red Sox slumping because they struggled in 2001 as well as 2000 and, and 2002. It's the coaches, nothing special. I'm not going to read through them, I'm just going to show them. I'll read the players. First player we got is Pedro Martinez who was one of the ace pitchers on the Red Sox. Then we got Nomar Garcia, another one of the greatest players, and it actually shows a claim to fame fact right here. Which those are facts right there that shows. Which is pretty cool. Then we got Carl Everett, who we he would later play for the White Sox. And then Pedro Martinez played on the Expos, the Red Sox, um, the, let me think, who else they play for? The Dodgers, as well as um, the, the Phillies. And then Nomar Garcia Parra went to the Mets, got traded to the Mets. Pedro Martinez got traded too eventually. And they got Carl Everett, he was later traded to the White Sox. That's the only team I can remember off the top of my head, but um, the player statistics, which you'll see in the yearbook, will tell you what teams they played for. Because I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. And, and I won't until I see that part. But anyways, Carl Everett was one of the best players on the Red Sox and the White Sox, which, which he won a World Series with the White Sox in 2005. Jose Offerman. And I'll give you a fun fact, most of these players that you're going to see in this yearbook, I actually am not familiar with. The ones I'm familiar with, which I just read through, were Pedro Martinez, Norma Garcia Parra, and Carl Everett. Here's statistics. So yeah, he played on the Dodgers, I know that. I just realized that. It shows he played on the Dodgers, Expos, and the Red Sox. And then Carl Everett, I know, played on... Also played on the Marlins, and then the Yankees and the Astros, and a couple other teams. These are the statistics, player statistics, which at one point they they actually stopped showing these. I don't know why, but that's actually, but that's actually what's the cool part about these yearbooks is the player statistics, because then you can see their statistics, and and the bio about them. I don't know why I decided to get rid of them at some point, but that's just kind of weird. Okay, I got Jose Offerman. He played on the, um, who did he play for? Yeah, he played on Dodgers and the Royals, as you see right there. And the next player is Brett Saberhagen. Correct me if I pronounced that wrong, but that's all I can remember. John Valentin. 
And then we got um, Troy O'Leary. And then Derek Lowe, another player I'm familiar with, which he was one of the ace pitchers. So was Pedro Martinez. And then here's statistics. Brett Saberhagen played for the Royals, Yankees, the Rockies, and then came the Red Sox. John Valentin played on the uh, Red Sox, as shown statistics. Troy O'Leary played for the, uh, the Brewers, and then the Red Sox. And then next statistics, Derek Lowe, which he was on the Red Sox, and then a couple other teams, which I don't know off the top of my head. And then we got Raymond Martinez. Then Jason Veritek, another player I'm familiar with, which he played on the Red Sox from 1997 to 2011. And then I'm checking to see if I went past Tim Wayfield. No, I haven't, because I know he's in the Sierra Bowl. And Jason Veritek was our captain. And he won two World, and he won two World Series rings with us in 2004-2007. Mike Stanley, Trot Nixon, another player I'm familiar with, one of the best. Like I said, most of these players I'm not familiar with just because, um, just because I didn't really watch the Red Sox much from until 2003. I mean, the first time I ever watched the Red Sox, this is actually a fun fact, was when I was little, which was in 2000. I didn't watch them much though because the Red Sox struggled. And I didn't even watch them until they were good in um, 2003. And then I started watching them frequently. That's why I'm not familiar with a lot of these players that were on the Red Sox from 2000 to 2002. Except for a few that I mentioned. Okay, that's Raymond Martinez. He played on the Dodgers and the Red Sox. And then that's Jason Veritek. Mike Stanley played on the Rangers, the Yankees, Red Sox, and the Blue Jays. Trot Nixon. The next player is Brian Dahlback. Correct me if I pronounce that wrong. And then there's Tim Wakefield, which is another player I'm familiar with. He's another one of the ace pitchers the Red Sox had during that year. And Tim Wakefield played on both the Pirates and the Red Sox. He played on the Pirates from 1992 to 1994, and then the Red Sox from 1995 to 2011. That one is that one is Pete Scrack. Again, correct me if I pronounce it wrong because I'm just not familiar with most of these players. Scott Hatterberg. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong again. Okay, Brian Dalbeck, here's back to the career statistics. Um, let's see. Red Sox. Uh, Tim Wakefield, of course I already mentioned him, so I'm not gonna say anything else. Pete Skorak, he was on the Mets. He played for the Red, the Mets, the Reds, and the Astros. Red Sox and the Pirates. Scott Hatterberg played for the Red Sox. Then we got Jeff Fass Fasuro. That's the best way I can pronounce it. Jeff Fasuro. Darren Lewis. Um, Wilton Verez. Veraz, that's the best way I can pronounce it, Wilton Veraz. John Was Wasden. Another player that I another player that's the best way I can pronounce it for. Okay, we got for statistics, um we got Jeff Asaro played for the Expos and the Mariners and Rangers and the Red Sox. Darren Lewis played on the Red Sox shown there. Wilton Veraz, Red Sox. John Wasden played for the Athletics and the Red Sox. And then a bunch of minor league teams, which a bunch of players play for before they go to the MLB. That's a fun fact. Every player who gets drafted in the MLB starts off in the minor leagues before making their debut. Rich Garcia. Got Jeff Fry. And I forgot to point this out, but... um. In the background, it shows the Red Sox players in the background, inside and outside of Fenway Park. It's one thing I forgot to mention earlier in this video. Got Manny Alexander, 
Brian Rose. Um, let's see who else is next. More player statistics. Rich Garcia played on the Twins, uh, the Marlins, and the Red Sox. Jeff Fry played for the Rangers and the Red Sox. Manny Alexander played for the Orioles and the Mets and the and the Cubs and the Red Sox. Brian Rose Red, played for the Red Sox. Next player, Rod Beck, which which Rod Beck I'm familiar with because um because I learned about him in in an E60 video of Pat Chalky. Um he actually played for the Lancers. Rod Beck was actually the pitcher for the Lancers on the on the nineteen eighty six championship team. And then that was Pat Chalky's teammate. And um, Pat Chalky was the Lancers' right fielder in that 1986 city championship for, um, what's the name of the high school? I'm trying to remember. It was for Grant. The name of the high school that Rod Beck and Pat Chalky went to, which they played for the baseball team, was, um, what is it? Oh, yeah, it was, um... It was the the name of the high school was the um it was the Grant Hill High School. It was it was Grant Hill's high school. That was the name of the high school. The team they played that Rod Beck and Pat Chalky played for was the Lancers. And they won the nineteen eighty six champion city championship against Granada five to one. And then Rod Beck died a few uh, several years later from a drug overdose. And then that's Raheel Cremier. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Got Brian Flory. Donnie Sadler. Here's statistics. That's a Rod Beck. He played he played for the Giants and the Cubs and the Red Sox. Raheel Cremeyer played for Cardinals, Red Sox, and Expos. Brian F Bryce Fleury, sorry, I, I said Brian, but it's actually Bryce. Played on the Padres, the Brewers, Tigers, and the Red Sox. Donnie Sadler played for the Red Sox. And now we got the section, which is Sox on the Rise, which those were their prospects. Michael Coleman. Morgan Burkhart, Paxton Crawford, Jin Ho Cho, and David Eckstein. And then the other players, Sox players on the rise were Sun Woo Kim, Tomokazu Oka, Sang Hoon Lee, Jason Sekan, uh, Sek Sekani, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Stephen Lomassene. And then Dar Darnell Stenson. And then this was the 1999 farm stats for the minor league teams. Those are the Hall of Famers. And then this is the two the two thousand roster for the Red Sox. Alright, and that's about it. I will end my video here. Thank you for watching. Bye.